That has a connection with the blacklist because Frank Sinatra had read the uh, book by William Bradford Huey about the execution of Eddie Slovak in the last days of the war, in the uh, Battle of the Bulge years, when a guy ran and had warned them right along that he could not shoot the gun. He was, he was terrified. He would do anything. He'd scrub floors, he'd clean toilets, he'd cook for the war effort, but he couldn't himself do it. He warned them over and over again. So when he got into real battle, he ran. And uh, when he finally was caught up with, he was charged with treason, was tried and sentenced to death by firing squad. It was the first military uh, execution since the Civil War of, a, of an American soldier being shot by um, a, a group of uh, army guys, uh, army uh, rifle squad. And uh, so Dalton Trumbo, who was a member of the Hollywood Ten, was, was considered a, a one of the blacklists. I don't know what his real connections were, but he was definitely blacklisted. had written this remarkable adaptation of the Bradford Huey book about execution of Private Slovak. And Frank Sinatra had loved it and wanted to play it in films. So he hired Trumbo to do the script. When the word came out that he was going to do it, um, John Wayne and Hedda Hopper took out a full-page ad in Variety and said, Frank, we know you're a loyal patriot at heart. What are you doing doing this communist propaganda? Um, you should not be doing the Slovak story. It's trash. It's red trash. And he backed off. Not the famous Sinatra of the feist that you've heard of. He gave up, and it lay dormant for a number of years until Levinson and Link read it and got another writer to do a story adaptation for television. And that was the beginning of, of what was really quite a remarkable show. It, it was a, quite a breakthrough, again controversial, 